How are you? I hope today you all are doing great. Now we are going to learn in depth in integration. This part, integration of tan x raised to n times cos x raised to n dx, where sum of these two powers m plus n is even negative integer. So let us understand this line first. m plus n is ne even negative integer means what? So we can understand this if m plus n even negative integers 2, 4, 6, 0, 8 these are called in even numbers like right? even integers but this is even negative integer it means it would be minus 2 this is if it, if it took only 2 then it is even but it is already multiplied by minus sign so it is even negative so minus 2, minus 4, minus 6, minus n if you have m plus n like these minus 2, minus 4, minus 6, minus 10 then then convert whole expression in terms of tan x yes then we have to convert this expression in terms of tan x and sec square x dx then we have to put tan x as t and sec square x dx as dt so let us understand this concept with the help of simple example first i'm writing sin x raised to uh, minus 4 times cos x whole square dx okay this would be like uh, sin x raised to minus 4 times cos square x dx okay so before solving we have to understand m plus n so m is minus 4 n is 2 m plus n is minus 2 and minus 2 is even negative integer so we got the concept okay now what we have to do we have to convert this expression in terms of tan x and 6 1 x dx right so let's understand how now the next point is how you will convert okay we have to use trigonometric function identities formulas check so this is sin x raised to minus 4 so we can write 1 over sin x raised to 4 times cos square x times dx right we got this now i can name i can give name like i so this i equals i am getting this is cos square x and this is what sin x raised to 4 my intention is to convert in tan x so what i will do i will write 1 over sin x raised to 4 over cos x raised to 4 okay and times cos x raised to 4 and this is cos square x dx you have to understand this step this is cos square x which is cos square x over here you can observe this is sin x raised to 4 my intention is to convert in tan x so sin x raised to 4 sin x raised to 4 is there in denominator i have divided by cos x raised to 4 now since i have divided by cos x raised to 4 so i have to keep balance and for that i have multiplied cos x raised to 4 over here now it became tan x raised to 4 and this is cos square x over cos raised to 4 so i got 1 over tan x raised to 4 times cos square x over cos x raised to 4 it means 1 over cos square x so if 1 over cos means sec so 1 over cos square x is sec square x so I will write sec square x dx. So now this expression already have been converted to tan x raised to 4 and sec square x dx form. Now put tan x as t and sec square x uh, x sec, uh, sec square x dx as t. So here let tan x as t then differentiate both sides when you will differentiate then tan derivative is x square and x is dx okay and then this is dt so now it became 1 over tan x was t so this is t raised to 4 times this is x square x dx right 
So this whole expression, sex square x dx, you can convert by dt. So now we got t raised to minus 4 dt. And you know, t raised to minus 4 is like x raised to n integration. And x raised to n integration is x raised to n plus 1 over n plus 1, right? So right now, we got t raised to minus 4 plus 1 over minus 4 plus 1 plus c, right? Now this i equals, I got t raised to minus 3 over minus 3 plus c. So minus 1 over 3 times t. Now we have to give answer in terms of x, not in terms of t. So this t, we have to replace by this tan x. And then I will get tan x raised to minus 3 plus c. So this is my answer. Minus 1 over 3 tan x raised to minus 3. So it was your first example. This is the simplest one. Now let us understand this concept again by another example. We have to understand this question. Integral of 1 over sin x raised to 11 times cos x and then raised to 1 over 3. What is this? If this is a third inside this we have 3. So first of all we have to convert this expression in simple form. So now this i equals 1 over this is sin x raised to 11 times cos x and full raised to 1 over 3. We know this result root x if nothing is there it means 2 is hidden. Then we can write x raised to 1 over 2 and if root and here if it is 3 or 4 then we are writing x raised to 1 over 3. So it is based on that. Now again we can write it sin x raised to minus 11 over 3 times cos x raised to minus 1 over 3 dx. Okay? What is this? Sin x raised to 11 times 1 over 3. So sin x raised to 11 over 3. But if you take it in numerator, then you have to keep minus sign over here. Then similarly, cos x raised to 1 over 3. If you take this in numerator, then you have to put minus 1 over 3. Now let us understand what is m and what is n. So m is minus 11 over 3. So my m minus 11 over 3 and n is minus 1 over 3. Now we have to add m plus n, we have to find. So minus 11 over 3 plus of minus 11 over 3. So denominator is 3, this is minus 11 and plus minus minus 1. So minus 12 over 3 which is minus 4. Minus 4 is nothing but even negative integer. So it means this question is also based on this concept. It means again we have to convert this expression in terms of tan x and sex square x. Automatically when you will convert this expression in tan x then automatically you will get sex square x dx. This is tried and tested concept. This is valid everywhere. Okay, so now the point is we have to integrate. How can we integrate? Let us understand. So I have to erase this and even I can erase this also. Now, let us do from here. 1 over, this is sin x raised to 11 over 3 times cos x raised to 1 over 3 and this is dx, right? This is dx. 1 over 11x, sorry, sin x, 11 times 1 over 3, it means 11 over 3 times cos and 1 over 3, okay? Now we have to convert this in tan, then how can we? This is uh, dx over sin x raised to 11 over 3 over now we have to convert in tan, it means sign denominator must be in cos. So I will write cos x raised to 11 over 3. But intentionally I have added this. It means we have to keep balance. Then I have to multiply cos x raised to 11 over 3. And what is this? This is cos x raised to 
cos x raised to 1 over 3 here. Then this i, this dx, this is sine over cos, it means this is tan x 11 over 3, 11 over 3. So it would be 11 over 3. So tan x raised to 11 over 3. And this is cos x and this is 11 over 3. You know this result? x raised to m times x raised to n and x raised to m plus n. It means power we have to add. So now this is 11 over 3 plus 1 over 3. How much? 12. 12 over 3 which is 4. So we got cos x raised to 11 over 3 times cos x raised to 1 over 3. This is cos x raised to 4. Okay? Now it's a surprising result. I told you, you have to get your expression in terms of tan x and sec square x, but you got cos x raised to 4. Moreover, you can convert this cos in terms of sec. So this is sec x raised to 4 dx over tan x raised to 11 over 3. Now again there is a problem. I told you will get tan x and sec square x, but you got sec x raised to 4. But we can convert this sec x raised to 4 in terms of again tan and sec square x. Let us understand. So I have to erase this. Now this i equals, I will write, I will break first sec raised to 4 in sec square x times sec square x dx over tan x raised to 11 over 3 okay and now this i this sec square x dx i will keep because when i will take tan x as t then i need sec square x dx so this is our requirement but this sec square x is extra and we know fortunately sec square x can be converted in 1 plus tan square x. So this sec square x I am going to convert in 1 plus tan square x and this is times sec square x dx over tan x raised to 11 over 3. Now you have seen this whole expression of that question I have raised. That question has been converted in tan x and sec square x. Now, first part we have done. Now this we have to take tan x as t and we have to differentiate sec square x dx tan derivative with sec square x x is dx, t is dt and this expression will be right now. It's better to write over there. So this i would be 1 plus t square times this x square x dx I will convert by dt over t raised to 11 over 3. Okay? Now it looks very simple algebraic expression. And whenever you are getting algebraic expression to integrate, that is the simplest question. So, here this i equals t raised to minus 11 over 3 plus t raised to 2 minus 11 over 3 d. Let us understand this step. 1 over t raised to 11 over 3. So, we have this result. 1 over x raised to m. We can write x raised to minus m. That's how 1 over t raised to 11 over 3. It became t raised to minus 11 over 3. Now, another result we have. When we have x raised to m over x raised to m, then we are writing x raised to m minus m. Okay? We are taking difference. So this is t raised to 2 over t raised to 11 over 3. So 2 minus 11 over 3 we have to write over here. Now this i equals t raised to minus 11 over 3 plus t raised to, we have to solve this. So 6 minus 11 over 3, it means this is minus 5 over 3. Okay? Can we check once more? There should be no calculation error. 2 times 3, 6, 6 minus 11. How much? Minus 5. By the way, so t raised to minus 5 over 3. 
Now we can integrate it. It's the last step. So we know this one x raised to m integration as x raised to m plus 1 over m plus 1. So I will get 2 raised to minus 11 over 3 plus 1 over minus 11 over 3 plus 1. Now plus and 2 raised to minus 5 over 3. So 2 raised to minus 5 over 3 plus 1 over minus 5 over 3 plus 1 and plus c. Now it's a calculation which I have to calculate. Then I equals t raised to minus 11 plus 3. How much? Minus 8. So minus 8 over 3 over minus 8 over 3. Okay, that's fine. Now t raised to minus 5 over 3 plus 2. So minus 2 over 3 over minus 2 over 3. Now just we have to again put value of t that was tan x. So finally this 3 will come up. So minus 8 over 3 would be minus 3 over 8. And this is tan x raised to minus 8 over 3 plus t. And minus 2 over 3 is we have to change this sign because this is plus and this is minus. So it would be minus 3 over 2 tan x raised to minus 2 over 3 plus c. So this is my final answer for that question. So you have seen application of this concept. m plus n is even negative integer. So I hope you have understood this concept and whenever you will get this kind of question where tan sin x and cos x is there, then you can convert sin and cos in terms of tan. But be careful, m plus n must be negative even integer. Thank you very much. Come on.